you have to be Iron Man out here. Because if you're a black man, you're out here alone. Your own people are set up against you. And everything is made to stop you. Everything is created to stop you. Everything. This LGBT stuff is created to take away your energy, take away the, the, the strivings that you've been making year after year after year. Protested, you know, voting, um, hunger strikes, uh, hangings, uh, uh, death. You have to be Iron Man out here. You have to be strong with nothing getting to you, nothing. One of the biggest tools the devil used against us is our own women. And even with that, having a heart, being soft, will get you cut off. Will get you cut up. And let me tell you something. It is war right now. Don't let nobody fool you. This is a spiritual war going on. And you have to be Iron Man to deal with what you have to deal with. Because the tools that are used to get you are unimaginable. They're unimaginable what these people are using against us. So let's talk about what are the programs that we're aware of. One of the programs is Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood was put in our neighborhoods to slow down the advancement of our people because it was predicted that by the year 2000, we'd be the majority. We were having kids back then. Five, five kids was a norm for a black family back then. With the Edomites, with Caucasian people, their perfect family is husband, wife, daughter, son. I mean, even in their world, like that can't even be possible. But that's what they—that's what they're thinking. You can have two sons, you can have two daughters. We were told to be fruitful and multiply. So Planned Parenthood was put in our neighborhoods at a time when white girls were more pregnant, two to one, pregnancy rate, two to one on blacks and Latinos. But our neighborhoods are flooded with Planned Parenthood. Plant Parenthood and the abortion centers is nothing but the same program Pharaoh had to kill the firstborn son when they were trying to stop Christ from coming. So you have to be Iron Man. The Iron Man technique will serve you well. The Lord says there's a season for all. There's a season to kill, a season to heal, a season to love, a season to fear. There's a season for all. Huge or small. Everything has its purpose. And right now, tearful softness ain't a place for you to be. So let's talk about um, another another program that's familiar to us. It's welfare. Now, welfare is nothing new. Welfare was used to help the GIs that were coming back and had nothing to come back to. But when it came to our neighborhoods, these stipulations came upon them. Like you can only have uh, the mother in the house. If the father's in the house, then your welfare, it's not going to be set up like that. Unless they set him up with some crazy stuff where he has to get put on child support, which immediately limits the brother. Where he has to, some crazy stuff that they never invented till we started getting help. I want you to understand this. And there's ways that you can protect yourself from this stuff. And we'll get in that too. It's all about becoming Iron Man. Willing to die, you know. Death before dishonor is what they say, you know. That's what they say, death before dishonor. And we can adapt the exact same feature because it should be that. It should be death before compromise. And that's what we need to become. We need to become Iron Man and not emotional, unstable. Because the person sitting next to you right now might not be there in three years, might not be there in three months. Hell, they might not be there in three minutes. Anything can happen. 
Now, I'm gonna do this one a little bit different. Usually I will go through the things, you know, that are all going on. And then, I will tell you a way to beat it. But this time I'm gonna tell you a way to beat it and tell you why you have to do all these things. So the first thing you have to do, the first thing you have to do, you know, is realize who you are. That's the first thing you have to do. Realize who your ancestors are. Where do you come from? Because everybody on this earth understands their lineage except for one people, and that's the Israelites, one nation. So you have to realize if you're Latin, Negro, Native American, the first step of becoming Iron Man is realizing who you are. You know, your ancestors are King David, mighty, mighty warriors. Samson, mighty, mighty warriors. That's what you come from. You know, you come from the blessed lineage of miracles. That's what you come from. The second thing you got to do is come back to the laws of God. Because that's where you get your strength from. And that's where you shed them spirits up off of you. Because I'm going to tell you something that a lot of people won't even say, but this is just the truth. Every law that you break comes with a curse. That's what Deuteronomy is all about. There's a spirit behind every curse that comes. That's what Christ was doing, pouring the spirits out of people. So the second thing you got to do is follow these laws. Because they do nothing but help you and none of these laws will fail. That's the second thing you have to do. The third thing you have to do is train your body. See, the first two is about changing, training your spirit. This is about training your body and training your mind. Now. Physically train your body. I would recommend picking up a martial art, and if you can't do that, hey, there's plenty of just, just, just get implemented with some type of system, boxing. Whatever you could do to train your body, get some throwing knives, get a bow and arrow, whatever you do to train your body and train your mind. Reading the law, searching out the Bible will train your mind. Another way to train your mind is to look at the history of what has happened to us from Pharaoh to George Washington to Donald Trump. That's the next thing you do. The rapists, the violence, the murder of our children, the systematic holding us back, the bombing of our cities, the, the uh, infiltration of our neighborhoods with these programs, these same programs they try to put in our neighborhood instead of, re of reparations. You have to know this so you can train your mind so you know what to expect and what to accept. This is what you gotta do. Find like-minded people and hook up with them. But make sure you're sharp, you're still as sharp, so you won't be going there, becoming a problem, becoming a tool used against our brothers. You have to be sharp in this day and time so you won't fall for any of these tricks out here. Now, some of us are looking around each other and saying we see the same old faces that's been speaking this truth for years upon years. Now, it just may be that these are the people who's going to be speaking this truth. We got to understand that two thirds are going to leave. And it's time for us to start making that move to gather together. That's a part of becoming Iron Man. That's a part of it. Because of with your gates linguished, with no leadership, what do we have? With no force field, what do we have? So those of us that are into Islam or into all this other stuff besides your heritage, Islam is the Middle Eastern's heritage. It's not your heritage. And that's what this is about. Shake them spirits off you. The brothers out here trying to do their own doctrine. Taking a little bit of this, taking a little bit of that, taking a little bit of this, and adding a whole bunch of spirits to your mix. This is what it takes to become Iron Man. And expect anything. Because anything they could do to you to stop your progress, they will do. No, I just broke down the most important parts about 
be an Iron Man. But the most important quality to become an Iron Man is discipline. It takes discipline to train your body. It takes discipline to follow these laws. It takes discipline to be the king on the earth that you're meant to be. Trust me, this isn't going to be easy. But once your mind, your body, and your spirit is trained, you become a superhero. Meant to deal with major problems. That's what we're facing, major problems. Now, I went over the overall schematics about being a warrior. But now, we're going to get into detail. With this new series called Armor of God. Every episode, I'm going to take you deep into what the armor of God is needed for. Because our enemies pray upon us day and night. And most of it is imaginable about what we must go through. The first episode will be called What We Already Know. And I will be bringing up stuff that has been a minute, which has been a minute by these people that they've done to us in our community. And why the whole armor of God is the only way to get out of what we're in right now, and that's slavery. The second episode will be entitled... The whistleblowers. Or should I say the second part of what we already know will be the whistleblowers. People who blew the whistle on what's going on purposely or by accident. So you guys stay tuned. It's gonna get real gonna interesting, be real on, this interesting on this channel. But more importantly, more importantly we're about to edify y'all and, and teach y'all how to become the kings and queens of this, kings kings of this universe. And I'll even take it a step further. The powers of this universe. Ordained by the most high power. All praises to the most high.